formal. Oh, sorry. Okay, just kidding. We're gonna start now. <laughs> okay, it's 9.15, so we're gonna get started. Um, okay, y'all, this is gonna be super informal tonight. Like tonight is really just about like talking about what is this accountability group? Why are we doing it? What can you expect to get out of it? Just like telling y'all the basics. And then we have a couple of fun other things we have somebody sharing tonight and then we have something fun coming. I need to turn my phone over. Um, after that. Okay. Um, all right, y'all. So if you don't know me, my name's Taylor. Um, I am an Emerald ambassador. I have been here for five years and because of that, I have had the privilege of being able to be in quite a few accountability groups. Um, which leads me to my point that if you guys are brand spanking new or whether you have been here for a while, I want y'all to know that this group is specifically for you. So about four years ago, I'm pretty sure I joined my first one. And I think I was around the rank of like silver or senior silver. And around that time, y'all, like I was still trying to figure out like how to even do this plexus thing. Like, like what did that even mean? Like I didn't even know. And so back then this group was really awesome for me because it taught me the basics. Like it taught me how to just work this business. And then when crazy times came along like summer and we were, you know, pivoting from one thing to the other thing, um, I was able to learn how to, sorry, I can't, I don't think I can mute Jordan. If you can get that. Um, I was able to pivot and learn from people above me. How do I work this, this business in seasons of chaos and crazy? And so that was really helpful for me. And then I think my second one was around the rank of senior gold, where I really had to have some big, massive breakthroughs in my business. And so I learned in that time about discipline and it gave me the tools and the calls and the training videos to be able to learn that. Now we are at a totally different place in our business. And so now I'm getting to learn something new while also applying the things that I have learned over the last couple of years. So again, doesn't matter where you are in your business. This is for you. And we're really, really excited. Um, other thing I wanted to touch on really quick was if you guys have not gone to the post about the, uh, um, accountability partner in that y'all please go do that. Like it is scientifically proven that you are 80% more likely to be successful in whatever you do. If you have somebody running with you and so go in there, drop your goals. And if you don't know anybody in there, that's okay. Go to your sponsor and say, Hey, I need a partner. I don't know anybody. Can you recommend somebody to me? Y'all like, we will help you guys. Yes. Grab a stranger, grab anyone. Um, but go do this with somebody. Do not do this by yourself. I promise it's so powerful. Even if it sounds kind of lame, like it's not, it's powerful. So go do that. Um, I'm looking at my notes cause I don't want to miss anything. Um, okay. A couple of things. One, these are always going to be on Tuesday nights. Okay. So Tuesday nights, nine 15 Eastern, adjust that to your time zone. We are going to move pretty quickly through these calls. Cause we're trying to be really thoughtful of our time. We want to do about 30, 45 minutes, short, sweet to the point, no fluff, very, very short and simple. Um, this is a 12 week thing. And on Sunday nights, this is what I want you to hear on Sunday nights, we're going to be dropping a post to drop your IPA sheets in. If you don't know what that is, that's okay. Hang with me. I will tell you in just a second. Um, but y'all, this is not the kind of group where we're going to like kick you out. If you don't post your sheets, that is the really awesome thing about this group is that you get to choose your pace. So we can give you the tools and the resources, and then you choose what pace you guys want to run at. I know for me, my accountability partner will for sure be checking that minor in there and vice versa. Um, but just know that there's like no, sh like, there's no shame here. This is a no shame kind of group. Um, Hey Taylor, really, uh -huh. really quick. I was just going to add this because, um, we've done these plenty of times and, um, my friend and power partner that I've been working with for a long time, Emily does these and y'all, some of the wins that people drop in their Sunday, um, posts are just like, I didn't give up this week and this week was a hard week. Like y'all there, this does not have to be like some, like I added 15 people a week type thing. Like sometimes the your win is just that you filled out an IPA sheet. Right. So like, um, just, just know that there's, this is like a no shame, like just pure growth space where we're just going to have a lot of fun. And so just, there's no, like, there's no bar here. You get to decide. So anyway, I just wanted to decide to add that. No. And I appreciate you saying that because that is totally my day today. Like me showing up and sending out three new messages today is going to be my win because today has been insane. So yeah, no shame type of day. Um, okay. I'm going to share my screen really quick. If I can hang on one sec. Oh, just kidding. You disabled it. 
I think. Hold on. I can make you, I'll make you a. Okay. Post. Okay, cool. Let me try now. Ouch. Okay, you're going to see yourself. Hang on. Okay. Can you guys see my screen? The sheet. Okay. So most of you guys, if you have been here for a while, you know what an IPA sheet or a daily action sheet is, but I know we have a lot of people on here who are new and who don't know y'all. This is just one that I pulled. Okay. There is a lot of different options out there. I know I personally use the one from Amazon. Um, I think it's like $8 or something, but I'm pretty sure it's in my car and I can't go get it. So, um, but this is basically the synopsis of what an IPA sheet is. So if, if you don't know what that is, it's an income producing activity sheet. And I will never forget when I started my business, Jordan telling me, Taylor, if there's anything that you can do that's going to move the needle forward in your business, it is going to be committed to filling out this sheet. And I'm like, okay, I can do that. Like, if this is what I need to be doing, I can commit to doing that. So there's just these five things I want to touch on really quickly. First thing is y'all, whenever I sit down to do out my, like to fill out my IPA sheet, I always focus on gratitude first. Y'all, I'm just going to be so honest with you today has been a little difficult and a little hard as a mom. And when I'm like, after this call, when I sit down to go fill out the sheet, I'm going to focus on gratitude first about the things that did go right, because I know that's going to come across differently in my messages. Like my confidence and my demeanor is going to be different. And so this may seem silly when you're filling this out, but I'm telling y'all, it makes such a big difference. So two to three things first off. Um, okay. Next is new contacts. Y'all I would say about 95% of the time I message people about the business first, even when I did not have an incredible, like life altering business testimony, I believed in this business. And so I would always send messages about the business. And then I would just turn around and fall back on the products if they said no. Um, so I do probably about three to four of those a day. Um, next I do some follow-ups and can I just like shoot y'all straight? When I started this business, I did not want to do follow-ups because I didn't want to be that slimy, weird chick that was constantly in people's inboxes y'all. But that is not the case. Most of the time people are bathing their kids or they are doing homework and they just simply forget. And they actually really appreciate when, when we follow up with them. So I do that every single day with people who I have talked to about th again, three to four a day. Um, check-ins, this is going to be different depending on where you are in your business. If you have people who you have enrolled, check in on your people. If you haven't, that's okay. Um, and then relationship building. This is probably one of my favorite things to do. This is a strong suit of mine personally. Um, but I do this by going and adding value to people that are in my network. And sometimes that's about Plexus and sometimes that's not. Um, I personally am very much into like more naturally holistic minded medicine. So I go find people that I can add value to in that way. And it actually turns out to bring a lot of awesome relationships. So those are like the five key things. And we'll talk more about this later, but I just wanted to show you guys what that looked like. Um, hold on, I'm going to stop sharing. And now I want to actually introduce y'all to somebody. I have asked Jordan Gibson to share a little bit tonight because she did our, well, I'm pretty sure she's done a couple, but she specifically did last year's accountability group. And not only did her points drastically improve, like I'm pretty sure she grew over like a hundred points. Um, but she is okay. almost a senior Ruby ambassador. Very, no, we're not doing breakouts yet. Um, very, very quickly on her way to become a jewel. <laughs> it's okay. Um, and I just want her to share because she has taken so much of what we have done in these groups and implemented them into her own business. And so, um, anyways, Jordan, go for it. Yes. Hi friends. I'm in my, um, grandma gardening moo moo. So <laughs> welcome to the team. I was like, I'm not doing my hair for this. Okay. Yes. When Taylor asked me, it's so funny when Taylor texted me and asked me to do this. I'm like, I can't even remember, you know, what I did yesterday, much less an accountability group from last year, but I did go back and look and was, um, had a good time reminiscing on the things we did and the IPA I did and all the things. And so, um, I thought I was going to be talking, I don't know why I thought we were breaking out into silvers and senior silvers, but what I'm going to say, I think is still applicable to, you know, anyone who's even Ruby. So yes, gosh, when I, I, I was looking back at my points around the same time we did the accountability group last year um, in June. So I, for those who don't know my story, I ranked Ruby in 
February 28th of 2022, had a baby in March of 2022 and um, developed like, two new goals that summer that I had um, Nash, my newborn. And then my points started dropping. And um, well, I guess the, okay. So June, I was at 470 oh. points developed um two golds one girl that was already really close to gold she just happened to hit gold and so in july my points were 550 that was around the time of the accountability group and i think the no i know that the consistency and what the accountability accountability group offered me helped me to push those girls to gold to coach them up um and to be the leader they needed to go gold and so that was that 80 point jump between june and july um, and I want to show y'all all my numbers to show, I know some of y'all have probably like six points in your back office and you're like 500 points is a lot, but just stick with me because it's going to be encour encouraging. I hope, um, starting in August, my points went back down from 490, um, went back up to 579. I have no idea what happened in between then, but then they started steadily declining. It went 558, 473, 443. The gold I developed, y'all, the gold, the girl I went, that went gold, brand new, quit. That happens too. Your points are going to go like this. If you expect to be here in diamond, you know, the, in the next three years, it's not going to happen. People are going to quit. Jordan always told me, and actually, let's see, December was 443, January was 456. So I'm on the upcline because my whole team who got me to Ruby in February quit except one girl and she's still here today. She's still gold. And so when Jordan or any of our leaders would say the same team that gets you Ruby is not going to be the same team that gets you Emerald. Like in the back of my mind, I was like, no, my girls are here to stay. They're awesome life goes on, right? People have life and things that come up and they happen to quit and we've got to roll with the punches. And so I've done a lot of team rebuilding. Um, uh, and that accountability, accountability group, I can't say that word tonight, helped me to stay consistent. Um, and we ended up with 728 points last month. And so also I want to point out, um, in my back office, um, I had a 258 point increase with my whole team quitting and the last two months I've increased 240 points. So when we are consistent, when we're doing our IPA, when we're in the trenches with our team, crazy things can happen. 240 points is a lot, right? And I'm super grateful for that. I have an amazing team. Um, but I want to point out some things about accountability group. Um, it's about, this is what accountability group is about. And they're all verbs at the beginning because we've got to be in action, right? Action is the cure all. Um, it's about the consistency you have to develop. We have to be consistent in this business. I guess you don't have to do anything, but to be successful, you have to be consistent in this business. Um, we want um, you to develop vision. The vision you have to see um, in the accountability group is going to help you, um, especially looking at people um, like Taylor and you know all the emeralds and like, okay, I see the vision. I see where this business could take me. Um, and then it's about the systems that you have to trial and error because it is trial and error. Some things are going to work. Things that work for me might not work for you, but you can still try the things that I've tried. Um, and then the relationships that you want to build. We are in the relationship business. So if you're not actively every single day pursuing and working on relationships, you're in the wrong business. <laughs> work on that. Um, so just a recap, the consistency, the relationships, the systems, and the vision. And then... Um, Things to, yeah, like, I'm sorry, I thought I was talking to silver. So I'm just going to finish my notes Um, and things to implement in your business, whether you're Ruby or whether you're trying to go silver, listen to your sponsor. There are several things Jordan would tell me. Jordan Ronberry is my, um, she's my diamond upline, but I'm her level one. Um, there are things that she would tell me at the beginning that I was like, okay, that sounds like a good idea, but let me just put it off or let me just, you know, dumb things. Life happens. Um, listen to your sponsor, even if they're silver, even if they're senior silver, they are one step ahead of you and apparently, or they have probably already been successful, um, in them listening to their own sponsor. And so they're trying to lead you in that way. So be coachable, trust the system. Jordan Ronberry has built an empire y'all. We have incredible. I just sent a girl the other day, a resource that actually Randy page made, um, 
And she was like, you just saved me so much time. You have no idea like what you just say. I'm like, we have things in place for you to be successful. Trust the systems that we have in place. And then of course, set time for your business and be intentional. And this accountability group is going to help you do all of those things, especially be intentional, be consistent, all the things. I hope that's what you were looking for, Taylor. <laughs> that was more than what I was looking for. That was perfect. Like that was great. I loved it. Um, thank you like seriously so much for sharing. Um, that was exactly what I'm sure all of us actually needed to hear. Um, okay. So last thing that we're going to do y'all is we're actually going to hop into some breakout like rooms and Jordan's going to assign these. And so if you guys are brand new working towards silver, or if you're silver and senior silver, you're going to choose that group when this pops up on your screen. If you are gold and senior gold, you are going to choose that group. And if you are Ruby and above, you are going to be joining that group. Um, <clears throat> Jordan Gibson is going to be leading one and Brittany Duke is going to be leading the other. And they have some awesome questions and tips to share with y'all. So um, once Jordan gets those assigned, wherever you are, wherever you fit into those categories, just go ahead and pop into that group. And then when the call is over, it'll just end from there. Um, okay. It'll be at the bottom. It'll say join a breakout room. So, okay. Break. If you're brand new, you're going to go to the one that says silver or senior silver. Do not be scared. Mm -hmm. I die. I hurt you. <laughs> this is this is going to be good. And if you can't figure it out, I'm going to end up manually assigning people at the end. So. Progress. Stephanie, somewhere on your screen, it should say choose breakout. <laughs> I'm assigning her. Okay, thanks. <laughs> I can see her face. <laughs> uh, Amy. Uh, Kylie, what rank are you? Oh, you're, are you? Are you brand new? Carolee, brand new. she goes into silver. Kylie, I'm assigning you to a room, I promise. I'm not putting you somewhere weird. <laughs> uh, Carolee goes where? Silver. Okay. Mara, what rank are you? Mara, can you hear me? Okay, putting you in the rubies. Are you are you wanting to go to rubies, Marissa? Okay. The recording just follows, it just follows Jordan wherever she goes. Definitely. Yeah, I'm going to stop. <laughs> 